Sleep medicine is one of the one of the most prevalent, most common problems in our country. Uh, we seem to have developed a macho kind of culture around uh, around uh, being able to perform without sleep. Even though we know that uh, from all kinds of psychology experiments that if patients don't get enough sleep, if a person doesn't get enough sleep, even cut down by an hour a night, then they progressively develop a sleep debt and progressively have problems with their thinking and memory. Matter of fact, that if a patient comes into uh, to us for memory loss and they're uh, 30 to 45 years of age, probably the most common thing we find is that they have a sleep disorder that's taking away some of their memory problems, taking away some of their memory. Um, the most common cause of uh, sleep problems in our country is in inadequate sleep. So uh, you, can't, you can't be macho about this thing. You have to get enough sleep so that you feel rested in the morning. If you don't feel rested, then you may have one of uh, 80 sleep disorders uh, that can disturb your sleep at night. Uh, another common problem is, uh, is sleep disorder breathing. Snoring is common, but it's not normal. It's never normal. It's always abnormal in uh, infants and, and children, and pre-adolescent uh, children as well as teenagers. Uh, it's critical that these, that these uh, little folks get sleep in order to produce the hormones that allow them to grow. It's never normal in a 30-year-old or 40-year-old or 50-year-old. And in that age group, it tends to uh, produce uh, cardiac problems, uh, with coronary artery disease and, and stroke, uh, as well as uh, automobile accidents. If you have one ounce of alcohol and you are sleep deprived, that's the equivalent of having six ounces of alcohol. Uh, so it's a major public health problem, sleep, sleep loss, sleep deprivation due to just inadequate sleep, not trying to get enough sleep, or to one of the many sleep disorders that are, uh, that are out there is a major public health problem in this country. Um, it's important in being able to treat patients with sleep disorders uh, that, you can, that you depend on the, on the quality of your testing. Our, uh, our sleep laboratory is, is a nationally accredited it is uh, staffed by registered polysomnographers, uh, and people in our sleep center are seen by board-certified sleep specialists who know how to interpret the tests and who participate in research trials and, uh, for patients with various kinds of sleep uh, disorders. Uh, so uh, sleep disorders are a pervasive problem. They can lead to headaches, automobile accidents, premature death, with stroke and coronary artery disease. Uh, they're not to be taken lightly, should always be evaluated completely uh, and treated appropriately.